we are back with another great adventure. Like I was saying earlier, we are here at Tunnel or uh, Tana Hill uh, historical site, um, and I'm joined with my good friend that I met over there, this furnace, uh, the reenactment out there. Uh, this is Brandon. Uh, he's taking some time out of his busy day, or you know, his Saturday afternoon, to come out here and talk with us and to share a little bit of his story and how he became an author and wrote so many great books and uh, where you can actually find these books and make a purchase uh, and help him and uh, and attempt to be able to write more books and uh, share some more stories that he has stored away and just waiting to release them and show the world what he can really write about and all the great things that he can teach and show as well. Um, so. You're an Alabama native. Yes, sir. I'm from Cottondale, Alabama. Okay. And have you have you always grown up in Cottondale? I was born and raised. You, all right. Still there. Still there. <laughs> when did you decide? When did you choose to become an author? Like, what what led you to want a right book? It was 2018. My wife and my daughter was going to work and daycare, and I was watching the news and authors come on there talking about their book and said everybody's got a story to tell but hardly anyone knows about certain stories or their stories because nobody tells it. So I thought about it for a little while. So I sat down and started writing my first book. It took me two years to write it. And it's about my uh, Pretty much about my mine and my brother's life from the time we were born up until 2019. Well, I was seven years old, and it was March 7, 1993. I was in a bad car wreck. And my middle brother Justin was five at the time. He uh, was in the back seat. He peeked out the front window and. Walked down the road to our aunt's house and called 911. And I was through from the front, of uh, through from the car, out the front window, hit the tree, head on, and had traumatic head, head injury. And that's what this book is. It's about my life, my two brothers' lives too, the baby brother. Six months old at the time, and I was trying to take care of both of them. And after this, after I finished writing my first book, my three-year-old daughter at the time come to me and said, "Daddy, I want to write a book like you and have it published." So I sat down and wrote this one for her. And from there, it went on to a kid's book, which would be Wacky Bob next. Got Wacky Bob right here. And that's Wacky Bob, and then after this one, I decided that since I wrote a book for the little boys, I had to write one for the little girls too. And I look around the house, and my daughter had some uniform and stuff laying in the floor, so I wrote the three unicorns and the three bears. And that's the little girl's book, and my daughter has another one coming out, and I'm working on a third book for her, too. And then my, my newest book come out yesterday at 9.30 a.m., and it's called Johnny's life and how he made it. It's about a little boy listening to his parents, saving his money as a kid, and when he grew up and finished, uh, finished college, he uh, started his own business and lived the American dream. And that's all five books. And you got a couple more in the works. I got two more that's uh, at the publishing, publisher now, 
one's my daughter's and one's mine and hers is called Bella Kate and her pet's Adventures. She come up with all the characters and uh, changed her name to uh, be Bella Kate so she'll fit in the story. And then I had a dream one night about a rabbit so I wrote Rocky the Giant Rabbit for the little, for the little kids too. But this book here will be for uh, preteens up to adults. I also checked this book out. It's uh, it's actually available on Amazon. All uh, my books are on Amazon so, and Kindle. Uh, I will be leaving the link in the description box so that you guys uh, click on that link and help support this uh, great author and uh, just you know help him out and contribute to all the things that he needs to be able to continue writing these great stories. Uh, not only for his daughter but uh, other children as well but also stories that he would like and other kids would like and other adults or preteens. Um, now, I know that you went out to Bib Burns and that was, that was that your was first? First book, first book sale signing I did done. And how did, how, how did it go? Did you, did you have a lot I, of fun? I loved it. The uh, first day I was nervous and didn't really sell but three books, but that was okay too. Mm -hmm. I, I enjoyed the company from John T. Wayne and all the other actors that was there that was putting on a reenactment too. And uh, the second day I sold si uh, seven books. Oh wow. So I sold ten total and talked to John T. Wayne and traded books with him. But my book cost as much as his did. So wasn't no sense in changing money, we just traded books. And I've talked to some uh, filmmakers, they're going to help me, or trying to help me, make a movie of the first book I showed y'all. Okay. Uh, when you when you talked to John T. Wayne, did he, did he share, you, share any advice uh, to, con to continue growing as an author? Uh, not really, I mean, we just talked about we both have more books coming out. Yeah. He's having to do a lot more work on his autobiography than I did yeah. because of who he is and all that. But you know, everybody will find that out in his uh, autobiography that will be out in the summer. But other than that, we just talk and carry on. And where can people find your book? My books are on Amazon.com and Kindle, and I have a Facebook page. Okay. Brandon Johnson from Cottondale, Alabama. And I will also be adding his Facebook page uh, link in my description. Go over there and show him some love. Uh, help him per help him sell some of these books and get some of these books from him. They're great stories. Um, I I actually am looking forward to reading some of these books. Uh, they look really interesting. Uh, might even be reading one of them, especially the three unicorns and three bears. I may be reading that to my daughter, you know. So, um, if you if you have a little girl out there, that'd be a great book to be able to uh, share a bedtime story with her before she lays down, and uh, you know, just create that bond like it used to be, where we were reading books with our loved ones, and uh, you know, just sharing that kind of special message. I mean, for somebody uh, growing in growing up in Cottondale, you know, a lot of people think that small town people will never really have a story to tell, but, you know, a lot of times the people from small towns have the most stories to tell. Um, you know, uh, just like you were talking about John T. Wayne, uh, I met that, I met him as well at Bib Furnace, and I got a couple of his books, and, uh, you know, I was reading a lot about him that he never really knew that his great-grandfather was or he was the grandson of John Wayne. Uh, he, he, had, he had to bring all the information up himself. And that's that what he's putting in his autobiography so yeah. everybody will believe who he is. Oh, no. Because I was reading on that too. He, he was he was saying that his dad never really told him that until like later on <laughs> in life. That he, he, told, he told me he was 54 years old when, when he 
finally figured out who his grandfather was. Wow. That's a long time. Unlike us, every time we go to our grandparents' house, we see both of them. Yeah. Or one that's left. But he said when he went over to his grandparents' house, his grandfather was never there because of who he was. They kept that a secret. That's a tough secret to keep. Oh, yeah. Um, well, do you have anything that you would like to share um, about any books? Well, we already talked about the book, but are any kind of other events that you have coming up? Or? Like I said, this is my daughter's book. I wrote it, but she gets the money off of them. The book that I wrote for her. And as far as I know, I don't have any other events coming up right yet. But, um... I'm trying to get some more books out, and I'm working on my eighth book for my daughter. It's going to be part two of Dr. Johnson. Okay. So, it's in the works, too, and she's, she's giving me ideas from her age. She's giving me ideas to, you know, write more books I didn't even think of. Oh, wow. So, she's helping her daddy, too. That's that's really neat, you know. That's really, and I think children children are actually a great, you know, a great piece, right. especially when it comes to telling stories, because uh, they can come up with so much uh, fascinating fantasies and different characters that kind of give us those, right. you know, that direction of making, you know, the 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 three unicorns and the three bears or a wacky Bob or well, that's um, like our book that's in a. Uh, the one that's being published? Being published now, Bella Kate and her uh, Pet Adventures. Yeah. She told me she wanted to write a uh, book about her own pets. And I told her, baby, all I can do is use your pet's names and make it up. Yeah. Because they don't really go nowhere. But yeah. that's where that book come from. Okay. Well, I do appreciate you coming out here talking with us. and uh, Everybody... I know it's coming around the holidays and Christmas is right around the corner. Uh, these these books right here, uh, let me get them for you guys. These books right here would make would make a great Christmas gift uh, to to little girls or preteens. Um, also, don't forget that this one did come out. It is on Amazon. I'll actually post the link to this one. Um, and the other books as well in my description box. Um, also, I will be giving you guys his Facebook link. Go over there, show him some love, add a friend, add, you send him a friend request. Uh, talk to him, he's a great guy, uh, wonderful guy. Uh, he's just trying to make, he's just trying to make a living by telling great stories. And trying to make a living like everybody else. Just trying to live the American dream. Well, thank you. You're very welcome. It was nice meeting you. Nice meeting you.